highly anticipated. Now, of course, they use the word pro with these. These are the AirPods Pro. It certainly is more pro than the other version. Nonetheless, here they are. They're sitting in front of us. They come with a pro price tag. So this is $249, $250. You skip the $1, makes it look like less. What are the differences? Well, obviously with the pro name, you're expecting to have improved sound quality here. By nature of the design, that should be a given. You have interchangeable ear tips. So maybe the one that's pre-installed is not perfect for you. You swap it out. In fact, apparently right within the pairing process through Apple's proprietary chip and software, there's even a fit component to the setup process. Of course, active noise canceling in here, you get none of that action with the regular AirPods and you have the transparency mode, which lets you use the external microphones typically used for noise canceling to hear your surroundings. I'm a big fan of that, Will. Are you? Been a fan. Hmm. So they wanted to make it clear on the retail packaging, the Pro also capable of wireless charging. You're not giving that up. Look at this frustration free packaging. Wow, it's a two-handed. I wonder if that's intentional. You come with the next hand so it can't slap on the table and the things go flying. A it pull, just, you do, just don't stops you? There. You yeah. would, wouldn't you? If you were Apple, that's incredible. There they are, that's it. Look how simple the unboxing experience is. They're protected, they have plastic on there. We put them down for a moment. Oh, look, oh, holy! So there's the little indicator. Hey, your tips are in here. And you lift and it's just, wow. It matters because it's your initial impression of the product. How much you like it, much like another relationship in your life, depends on this initial impression. This is the handshake that you make with the product. The product is uh, as cool as the unboxing. It's not the other way around as well. Mm, mm. You can see the large ear tips and the small ear tips. That of course means that the medium ear tips are pre-installed on the headphones. We have a lightning to USB type C cable. Batteries last for a while here. 4.5 hours of listening time on one charge and 24 hours if you're using the wireless charge case. Of course, a lot of that has to do with how much you utilize the active noise canceling. That's a battery hog. All right, sweet. Okay, we have a comparison. When you hold them up like this, you can see it's just ever so slightly taller and almost the same width. So it's not a huge commitment, extra commitment to carry around compared to standard AirPods. This feels like a finished product. It feels like something you want to put in your pocket. You just want to slide it in your pocket, Will. What I think convenience is a major feature with these style of earbuds, more so than say a high fidelity over ear style headphone. Convenience is a major contributing factor to how you select this. And, and Apple is really a step ahead, in my opinion, in that particular department. So, and we pop this one open and it's a much bigger ear, but it's a different look. The stem portion is a bit shorter. As you can see there, the earbud portion is larger on the Pro model. All right, so here's the magic part, the H1 chip at work. You flip it open, it should see it right away. Look at that. Oh, and it spins around. Oh, I love the fact that I just spent 249. Yeah, no. I'm not angry at all. Hmm. Spent 249, it's spinning. Somebody made it spin. All that anger just washes away. Look, it's all happening. And they look at the way they jump around and about, they're so happy. Uh, noise control, press and hold on either AirPod to switch between noise cancellation and transparency mode. No secondary app necessary. Oh, have Siri read out messages without having to unlock your phone. That could be uh, convenient. Okay, we pull them out, we're done, pull them out. Oh, okay, cool. So I wanted to show this part off as well. The ear tip fit test. There is an ear tip fit test. I'm gonna try it out. All right. I would say it's a good fit. This medium, I would say is instant. it's already a good fit. And also the noise canceling is active immediately. And it's a huge difference when compared to standard AirPods. Oh, all right, it's happy. That's it, I was right, medium cool. works. You can control your noise control from here also. Noise cancellation, ooh. Now I'm gonna try transparency mode. Okay, now, ooh, this feeds audio from the microphones inside of the, the earbuds, typically used for noise cancellation. It feeds it through to you, so it's almost like an amplification of your surroundings and your own voice. So you speak to me right now, Will. So you get high definition Yeah, I got you sound. right now. This is a killer feature. 
Some tunes here. Okay. Uh, louder. Way louder. I, I, Apple's going Apple's gonna to make a lot of people happy. This is the approachable improvement in sound. It's the type of thing. It's familiar. It's integrated. You already have the iPhone. So many people have it to begin with. You walk through the store. They say, here's the Pro model. Give it a shot. It sounds great. You take it home. You have that experience. You never previously would have been in the market for that product because the pre-existing version of it is intimidating to some buyers. Not to me, not to everybody who's watching. You guys know what Sony's up to. You've seen the other products. You saw the Galaxy Buds and so forth, but that's not the mass market. That's not the retail store window shopper. This is gonna suck some of the purchases from the current AirPods and ultimately, Sound wise, this is a whole different story. I'm not saying they're the best thing I ever heard in my life, but the combination. E yeah, I guess you could complain about the price. You could say, look, it's not for me. It's too much money. For sure you could. But you put the transparency over here. You put the package over here like this. I understand the Powerbeats Pro, they got good batteries in there. But you look at this package deal. You pop this in the pocket, you flip it open. It's all part of the experience. Well, this is gonna bring way more people into the noise canceling realm in the first place. But I also hear your argument if you're saying I can do better for 249. You, yeah, maybe, yeah, probably. But I think where this whole package comes together is when you look at all the elements. When you look at the case, you look at the H1 chip, you look at how your iPhone interacts with the product, all the little icons and animations, all the little things, it adds up to the overall package. Apple's gonna sell a boatload of them and you might buy them.